Yes, I am wearing a hat. Hey guys, Doublelord17 here, and I got something different today. Um, I know a couple of my friends were really upset that I stopped doing the arcade blocks, and I was gonna stop doing them for a while, but uh, this month was special. I got an email that caught my eye, and um, it's mostly Legend of Zelda stuff in here. For another, you guys know my tattoos, Legend of Zelda, I fucking Legend of Zelda all over my apartment. So I really didn't want this to pass me by because the other Zelda stuff I've gotten in here has been really good. Um, you guys might be wondering what's up with the hat. You guys know I don't usually wear a hat. Um, if you subscribe to Arcade Block, um, if you're an existing or a, pa a past customer or a new customer and you're resubscribing, they send you a thank you for resubscribing box. And it came with, it, it wasn't anything spectacular enough for me to do a video on, uh, but it came with a, um, it, it like uh, showcased uh, each one of the blocks that you could get. Um, this was from the horror block. I have no idea what it is. I haven't bothered to look at it. Don't, I honestly don't give a shit. Um, the hat, um, for those of you um, that don't know, that's from Metal Gear Solid, Foxhound. Um, it's actually a really nice hat. I've been wearing it a lot lately. Um, I've been playing through Metal Gear Solid 5, um, really enjoying it, so I've been wearing the hat. Um, came with, uh, this stupid clicky band bullshit, which I remember from when I was, like, in middle school. Don't know why they put that in there. Might be from the kids block, or, I don't know, that's garbage. Um, and it came with, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy nesting eggs, which are actually pretty cool, but they're plastic. Um, but anyway, first off, since I unsubscribed, um, they now ship these out of New York, so they come a lot faster. There's also no, um, since it's not coming across the border from Canada anymore... Um, it doesn't ruin what's in the box, because there's no packaging list, because it doesn't have to go through customs, which is also really nice. Um, but anyway, let's break out the big knife again, and let's see what's in September's arcade block. Um, now, when I did resubscribe, I did have to do, I think I did three months, so I'm gonna be at least doing three more months of this, as, you know, kind of caught back up on my stuff. But yeah, let's open, let's open this baby up, and hopefully there's some good stuff in it this month. Let's see here. Oh, there's a t-shirt right off the bat. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, this is cool. I like this. Yet again, another plushie to add to my collection. Let me take it out of the bag. It's a boo! I can put it next to my, uh... That's not Flying Squirrel. That's from the new, new Super Mario Brothers U. But yeah, it's a boo! Gonna get you. Now the now the thing is, I see these at, dude, I see these things at GameStop all the time. They're not too expensive, but it's cool to have. I've always liked Boo. He's always been one of my favorite enemies per se, um, just because of the mechanics of him. It feels like it's got bean, like there's a bean bag in the bag of it, made for counterweight to make it sit right. Yeah. But anyway, we got a Boo. Got some paper plastic. Um, the next thing that caught my eye right off the bat, which apparently this is a dashboard accessory, but it's going to definitely go on my uh, computer desk, because I'm not probably not going to put this on my dashboard. It's a clue -coo 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 from Legend of Zelda. Apparently it's an exclusive. Sure. That was, that was easy enough. There she goes. For those of you who have been missing Amber, she's still here. She's right there. Amber! Miss Amber! She's too busy with the box. Alright, let's take this thing out of here. I wonder if I whack it with my sword a couple times if a ton of these will come out of nowhere. So, oh it does, it has like a little sticky pad. Yeah, I'm not sticking that to my dashboard. But yeah. Sure, whatever. Um, if we're gonna do that last, because that's a t-shirt. All right, yet again, there's another keychain, which is cool. Uh, it's my goddamn tattoo. Well, at least the, the Windcrest part is. Can't really see it too good with the glare, so let's take that out of there. Another keychain. Doesn't really seem too... too uh, feels like I could bend this real easy. I, mean, I guess it's not too bad. But I'm pretty sure if I hooked my keys onto this, after a couple months, I'd wear it down. 
But now you guys can get a better look at that. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in on it. Come on. Come on, webcam! There we go. I mean, it's cool. Um, I don't think it was Etsy. There's a website that actually made the dungeon keys for the boss room and regular keys that I kind of want to pick up. But that's pretty cool. I might put this on my keychain. I might hang it on the, uh, the wall and add it to the rest of my keychain collection. I don't know yet. Still cool. Um, let's see what else we have in here. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's fun. That's, that's worth it. I mean, I don't know how much, I don't know how much they contracted them to do this, but that's cool. It's an actual, it's not a real painting, it's a replica, but it's Link pulling the Master Sword out of the pedestal of time in the, in the, uh, Lost Woods. That's really cool. No shit. So between that and the shirt, which I haven't even gotten to, but I'll ruin the shirt, it's from Wim Waker. That's cool. I'm gonna try and open this without fucking ruining it. Ah, I got more shit to hang on my wall, even though I have no more wall space to hang anything. I mean, it's made in China, but... Come here. Let's take this shit off here. Carefully. Worse. Uh, hold, hang in there with me, guys. <laughs> it smells, it smells like a lumberyard. <laughs> smells like I just came back from Home Depot. <laughs> Yeah, guys, check check that out without the glare on it. That's really nice. I like that. That is cool. Like, I'm always looking for... I mean, I could frame this, and, and it would look even nicer, and you probably wouldn't know. Because, I mean, it's just generic. I mean, it's just fucking made in China. But, you know, for a $20 box, if you were to go to any, like, art store, these are, like, 15 16 bucks alone. Which is crazy, because it's not even a legit painting. It's just a, it's a reprint. But that's really cool. I like that. That's really cool. I'll have to find somewhere to hang that. And it even comes with hardware to hang it on the wall. I didn't even see this in the bottom. That is really nice. I like that. They, it's not doing too bad. Now what the hell is this? Arcade Block presents... The fuck? Amber. What are you doing? Come on. Get down from here. Come on! <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting over some sickness. Um, I I guess it's a soundtrack. Is this a four? Is this a forty-five? I'm sorry for you out there that are music heads. I don't do records, but I believe this is a forty-five. I I don't. It says Kirkanawa Films, but it's way too big to be a DVD. It's not a laser disc. And on the back it says it's a soundtrack. So let's fucking let's try and get this thing open somehow. There we go. And there's some other crap down here. I guess I'll read the the thing that comes with it. Yeah, it's a 45. But I don't like like that's cool that they send you this. But if you don't have a record player the fuck's the point? Because I don't have a record player. My dad does. I mean, I could go and get one from, you know, the hoarder's house, but I guess it's music. I'm going to have to check that, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe somebody down below can tell me what the fuck this is because I have no idea. I mean, that's cool, but yet again, like I said, if you don't have a record player, this is like, okay, thanks for something that I'm never going to use. Um, I've always been more of a fan of the physical stuff than, like, this shit, because I'm not gonna use it. There's a bunch of cards down in here. <coughs> um. Crossley. I guess that's the the, the vinyl records from 15% off your next... I don't care. 15% off your next purchase that I don't give two shits about. Introducing sci-fi block. Uh, first block includes uh, Star Wars Force Awakens, Funko Pops, Celebrity Autograph, and more. 
Behold, a new block dedicated to sci-fi. Doctor Who, Galactica, Firefly, Terminator, Back to the Future. Yep, I'll stick with my video game stuff. Um, all right, let's see here. Exclusive Wind Waker shirt. Yep, I just haven't looked at it yet. Let's see what we got here. I mean, that's cool. I'll wear that. The leader of the Red Dragons. Red Lions, I mean. Wind Waker. It's got some Hyrulean script underneath. Pretty basic. As opposed to some of the other shirts I've gotten that were like crossovers or um, a different spin on it, like the Majora's Mask shirt. Still cool. Um, I kind of wish Link was in color and not just a shadow. Um, I might have to translate what it says underneath, because I do have the, the Hyrulean the Hyrulean text, or the book, the Hyrulean Historia, so I can translate that, but other, otherwise, cool shirt, it's blue, I like blue, blue's my favorite color, so, that's cool, that's good, cat, <laughs> close, close up of my cat, um, so let's see what we've got here, <clears throat> exclusive canvas, the hero's triumph, the hero's journey is a tale we're all familiar with, Punctuated with important milestones, such as a milestone depicted on the canvas print. Featuring work by world-renowned artist Russ Moore. I have no idea who you are. Um, Keychain, Herald Shield, uh, Springing Chicken, Chicken. It, it's uh, Cuckoo's. Exclusive 7-inch record. Galaxy is a game we can't stop playing. I've never fucking heard of it. Um, soundtrack, exclusive highly collectible record. Don't have a record player? We've, in, we've included a sweet deal on turntables from this very... I don't want to buy a turntable. Uh, uh, Five-inch Goomba plush or Boo plush. So I could have had either one. And the Wind Waker t-shirt with this exclusive shirt punch t-shirt design. Get ready for adventuring in the high seas. Love the shirt and check out the rest of the bullshit on shirt punch. Um, the, the Legend of Zelda 2 link to the arcade block. That's cool. So anyway guys, that is the arcade block <coughs> for September. The... Uh, Legend of Zelda themed one yet again not too bad. I like the boo plushie the shirt was cool The plaque was cool Yet again another keychain to either put on my thing or hang on the wall, which is always good the record I really don't give two shits about and the other promotional stuff yet again. I don't give two shits about um, You know, but I've said that in every video um, I mean there's two more of these coming this one wasn't too bad. We'll have to see what the other two are. Actually, I know what October's is, and October's is Fallout themed for Fallout 4. Um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to that just because I'm a big Fallout guy. I really like it. We're going to see what's in that one. So be on the lookout for that one. Um, and I just want to let you guys know um, the videos are going to be coming out, the gameplay ones at least. Uh, stuff's been going on. I'm going to make a vlog and tell, let you guys know what's happening. Uh... I just haven't had the time to record, in all honesty. Um, yet again, I've been working a lot. I don't have to move, like I said. But other things have come up to where, you know, life happens. But um, I know a lot of you are waiting for me to get back into Vanishing of Ethan Carter, which I'm going to. I actually have a friend of mine who's been begging me to play through it because all the other Let's Players out there that have done Vanishing have been kind of boring, I guess. And I guess some of you guys actually like my commentary. Hi, phone! Somebody's trying to get a hold of me on Facebook! I'm also going to do a video on that box right there. That has to go back. I'm very upset about that. Um, I also have a very special video coming out of a custom NES mod that I did that a lot of you guys have been wanting to see. Um, what I did to it. Um, I can put, throw that up on here now. And I, I want to show you guys uh, my collection that I've amassed since I've been on hiatus from making the videos. That's what I've been doing in my spare time. Well, anyway, guys, this video's gone on way too far for a unboxing video. But as always, like, subscribe, and share my videos with your friends. Helps my channel to grow. Leave some comments down below for... Leave some comments down below for what games you'd like to see me play next. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace.